Hey guys, so as you all know, uh, the lockdown has been extended up until May 15, 2020. And as you all know also, the cases in the Philippines for the coronavirus are at 7,000 and it still continues to increase. So I don't know if the lockdown will be up until, will just be until May 15 or it will be extended even more. But what I do know is it will be predicated on how the cases of the coronavirus would somehow get tapered down because at the end of the day, one of the reasons why the lockdown is there is because uh, we don't have enough facilities to be able to contain a lot of people that may get infected. So this is just a precautionary measure that we don't overload the hospital systems here in the Philippines. So for this video, I'm going to talk about the, I guess, the complications of the extended lockdown and we're going to talk about the PSEI as a whole. So uh, first, first things first, I'll talk about the markets, then the extended lockdown, then we'll go with the charts. By the way, my name is Marvin Gurmo. I'm a stock market trader and investor and I analyze the markets using technical analysis and, and putting in uh, news items that may reflect or affect the market in terms of sentiment as well. But everything we need to know is found in the charts and that's what you will see in this channel, which the whole goal and narrative of why this channel exists is just to give you as much information as possible so you get to decide, you get to analyze the markets well and at the end of the day, so that it helps you, that the stock market becomes an asset class that helps you for you to be able to build well, not just now, but something that you can do repeatedly over a stretch period of time. So if you're new to this channel, super appreciate it if you could subscribe and if you could smash that bell so you get updated every time I come up with new content like this. And if at any point in time in this video, super appreciate it if you get value from this to like or press a thumbs up so you get uh, YouTube shows this to more people. So the PSEI closed at 5,464.98 down 134 points, down 2.40%. One thing though to note again is that value turnover is still relatively low at 4.7 billion. But as as you as you've seen and I've mentioned this in the previous videos that we have started Sana to consolidate. We're gonna look about we're gonna look at the charts, uh, what it's actually telling us uh, based on the news that we had today. Uh, also. Today, foreigners sold a net around 1 billion pesos uh, total. Uh, in terms of transactions, 57% were still local, 43% were foreign locals predominated this market. But in spite of that, foreigners remain uh, are continuing to sell. And if you look at the top stocks, uh, gainers versus losers, it, we're not still there where we were a couple of uh, weeks ago when there was a lot of volatility for large cap stocks. We're back already to where we were before that majority of the stocks that get battered volatility wise or that get pushed up volatility wise uh, are not are not the large cap stocks uh, as compared to what it was a few weeks ago. In terms of the most active, uh, at least the most hit 28.9, SM Prime 28.65. Uh, you Then you have JFC also down at 134.3%. Uh, uh, two, two things to note also, and, and we're going to drill already to the ECQ or to the extended lockdown. Uh, I really believe one of the reasons why Ali and SM Prime is hit, as you all know, they have a mall segment and they're also property development. It means that uh, their malls will be closed for another uh, two weeks again. That means no revenue for them. They already waived the rent. Uh, for Ayala land, it's around 2 plus billion. For SM Prime, I think it's around 4 plus billion. So that means they're missing out on revenue already for the year. But that's their directive. Their goal also is they're not thinking anymore about profitability for the year. They're just thinking about being liquid. And they're also thinking about how much value they could give their uh, retailers who rent in their mall. So that's what brought uh, the those particular stocks down please do note Ali's back at the 28.9 level SM Prime is at the 28.65 level all respectively down now my thoughts on this extended lockdown uh please do note that prior to this pegging it no at the end of uh April 30 that the lockdown would have ended and then it would have gradually opened but uh prior to us extending the lockdown it was already noted that the second quarter for the year for the Philippines would be really bad. Uh, it would be bad in a way that we would hit 
negative GDP that we would contract that the economy would get smaller that it won't be as if it won't be a favorable condition that all of the growth prospects that we had for the year especially for the second quarter uh, is all not going to happen again uh, if you think that the first half first quarter of the year is bad they're already uh, i've already posted some videos on companies reporting their earnings some of them are, have already said that their earnings are not as good uh, if you think the first quarter is not as good please remember the lockdown started march 12 it was almost the end of the first quarter so that that being said the full blunt of the lockdown or the full blunt of how the economy will get hit will be experienced April, May, and it will be reflected on the second quarter. So uh, you can expect you can expect the second quarter to be negative. You can expect a lot of the a lot of the small businesses still to get hit. You can expect and if you look at what's happening on the ground, people don't have food. Not every I, I mean uh, everyone's trying their best to feed people, but at the end of the day, if you shut down the entire economy a lot of people won't be earning as much as what they were earning before. So there will be people also that will be hit. So the longer this drags on, the more affected people will be. The longer that this drags on as well, it it becomes, uh, it takes a longer time before the economy would recover. But that being said also, I said this in previous videos, we are not just in a financial crisis this is a health crisis so it's a chicken and egg situation that if they open too early more people might get sick if more people might get sick we might have to lock down again and if we lock down again it will be even worse for the economy uh, but the problem the man is if you if you open it too late then the economy may have a hard time to somehow get rebooted, get restarted, and a lot of people will suffer even more. So it's a pretty tough predicament, and it's not just something that's happening in the Philippines. It's something that's happening uh, all around the world. So the sooner, uh, I and I mentioned this in a video that I posted in Facebook, that the vaccine most likely, uh, based on what what the Har a Harvard, sci Harvard medicine scientist said, that the vaccine would come in, most likely still in a year's time. So you can expect that even if the lockdown is over, this will be still the new normal. A lot of people won't spend still. A lot of people won't go out still. So there's still an expectation, whatever you're seeing right now, it may still continue even if the lockdown is over. So I, I think, and I've said this on a previous video also, that one thing that could kickstart the economy still uh could be if construction some say that they, they loosen the lockdown and they start putting construction in that could somehow you know, give a jolt to the economy that for the second half of the year uh they really push build 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 massively then we have a shot we have but not a shot to get where we wanted to be for 2020 it's just to salvage what we're having right now so so there uh couple of thoughts also if you want to be selective though this is me analyzing the index and the PSE as a whole if you want to be very very selective again as what I've mentioned in the previous videos there will be winners in this there will be losers in this the ones that uh, normally would lose uh, you somehow you know, try to stay away from them the ones that are earning because of this or the ones that are staying afloat the ones that are more defensive because of this are the ones that you should invest in especially if your time horizon is relatively shorter so uh, if you guys have any questions leave them below i'll try to make more videos about this but again the longer the lockdown looms the i guess the not so good the outcome of the economy will be but then again uh, health is something that's still very very important now uh, i mentioned this on previous videos that when we've been looking at the charts majority of the stocks and even the index as a whole uh, they've all started to consolidate and for the PSEI uh, you could peg it this is your you could depends on how strict you are no but you can put the resistance here or here but for j just this sake we can put it here and if you put the support level somewhere around here so if you try to look at it the market is trying to consolidate five nine resistance five four support but if there's one thing I'd like to note now and I'll try to zoom in so you see it better uh, there's a large red candle and that large red candle uh, broke below the 20-day moving average. So if this would be like this 5,425 level would be like a support level for the market, 
it's interesting to see how it will react. We have to remember it's Friday today, so we have Saturday, Sunday. We have. It would be interesting to see how the markets would react on Monday uh, with regards to this support line, if this support will actually hold its ground. Uh, this is one sell signal. Actually, if you try to peg it, you have two sell signals here, or actually three, or I mean bearish signals. One was its failure to break out from this. Number two, uh, this large red uh, candle, this large bearish candle. And number three, uh, this breakdown from the 20-day moving average. So three things for you to note. But one thing is very, very uh, interesting. This is also flattening. Number One thing that's very, very interesting is that if it holds this level, then I believe that you, you could expect the PSEI to just move still in this very, very tight uh, range and you could see it range bound. So if that happens, I've been trying to measure this to, for you guys as well over the past days. Uh, you have the 9.6 level. So should there be a short movement downward, just a short movement downward, this could be like a short term support, uh, then this could be another support level. So uh, again, for those who attended our stock smart sessions, you know the narrative. The shorter it is, the weaker it is. The longer it is, the stronger it is. So between five one and four four nine one, uh, the you have the five you have the four four nine one level as a stronger support than the five one twenty level. So that's how you can peg it, and that's how you can somehow start to see what could possibly happen. So please do note that if the market PSEI does not bounce or bounces from five to 5424, then it could possibly go to the 5975 level. If this does not hold, then it could possibly drop uh, all the way to 51. If this does not hold, then it could drop to this level. And to continue the, the main trend, no, uh, all of the moving averages are still bearish. MACD is still bearish. The main underlying downtrend is still there. So even if I zoom it out from here, you'll basically see that we still haven't fully reversed yet. And there's still more bearishness still. And again, there's still no trigger. There's still no push. There's still nothing uh, that's giving us a signal, no, even from a new standpoint, from a fundamental standpoint, or at least from a health standpoint, that uh, things are getting clearer and better already. So again, key things to watch out for. First quarter GDP results. Uh, a lot of the listed companies that are in the index, their earnings, how bad are they or how good are they, but most likely how bad are they. Then you also look at the extension of the lockdown. Will will May 15 be the last one or will they gradually still uh, push, push it every two weeks? Then the next thing you need to look out for is uh, news on how it's actually spreading the virus plus any news about the cure. They could serve as possible catalysts or at least they could add positive sentiment uh, to not just the local markets but to the global markets as a whole. So there, that's my thoughts on the e on the ECQ, the extended lockdown. That's my thoughts on what hap would happen if it would uh, continually drag down. Uh, that's my thoughts also on the PSEI and this is my thoughts also on what uh, the market is looking from a technical analysis standpoint. So there, this is the first of probably two or three videos that I'm uploading tonight. I'm I'm I think I'm going to do another stocks by request session. Uh, just put the stock that you guys want me to analyze, then hashtag stocks by request in the comment section. Then I'll try to make the video uh, off of that. This is coming out at 8 p.m., so the next video would most likely be around 9, 9.30. And if there's a third video, it would be up around 10.30 or 11. So comment below if you guys are going to stay up, up that late, if you guys are so interested about stocks and you guys want to learn more about it and the reason why I keep doing videos like this because I'm really seeing that number one I really love it I love sharing my thoughts and my ideas and number two is uh, it's amazing you know, the messages that I've been getting from you guys uh, thank you so much for all of those messages it's just been a ton no? especially when I said that madami nagme message sa Instagram then more and more people started uh, not so much people are messaging in Instagram then more and more people started to message so because a lot of people have been sending I haven't been able to read uh, all of your messages in Instagram. So if I have not replied, apologies. If I have not commented to any of your comments, it's just that there's just too much and I'm trying my best to accommodate everyone as well. And that's why I've been making this video so that I hope that most of your questions get covered in the videos that you've been asking or in the questions that you've been asking. So comment the stock that you guys want me to analyze. Then hashtag stocks by request. If you have a particular question, put it in the comment section. Then hashtag 
Ask Marvin. So there. Uh, so next video expected around nine, nine thirty. Third video expected around ten thirty or eleven. So what do you think? Also, I wanna I wanna know your thoughts. Do you think the lockdown will end May fifteen, or you think it will be extended again up until June, uh, for for the markets as a whole? So there. Uh, again, uh, second channel. I have a second channel for those who have not. Uh, signed up for it, subscribe to it. The link is down below. I also have books via Shopee and another online link. The, uh, the details are in the link also below. Then I have online courses, Chinkitan uh, and Shanti, Make Money, Grow Money, and Stock Market for Everyone. The links are in the description also if you guys want to enroll in those courses. So that's it for now. Uh, this is Marvin Germo. I really, really hope that this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.